heartbreak in Detroit tonight. The Ohio Bobcats had their toughest test of the season against the 12-0 undefeated 17th ranked Western Michigan Broncos. Ohio actually had three chances in the fourth quarter to drive down the field, take the lead and come away with the MAC championship. But on their final possession, Greg Windham threw an interception. Western Michigan ran out the clock from there, came away with a 29 to 23 victory. Trailing by six with less than two minutes left, Ohio had a chance to score a walk-off touchdown for the championship. Wyndham came into the game in the first half and played well, but on the most important play of the game, the ball found its way into the hands of the wrong team. Good play by that guy. He read my eyes. I, had, I, I did a bad job with my eyes. Um, I locked in right away on him because I thought, it was, I thought it was there, so that was a mental mistake on my part and it cost us the game. Ohio started the game well on defense and held Western to only nine points on their first three drives. The Broncos came into the night averaging more than 40 points a game. That's the number one defense in the conference that we were playing. That's a Frank Solich football team. They are one of the best teams in our conference, the second best team now. But Frank Solich and his team deserve all the credit in the world. They came out and punched us right in the mouth. And it was a battle. That's a championship game. Ohio's offense couldn't make anything happen, though, with redshirt freshman Quentin Maxwell at quarterback. So in came Wyndham. On his first pass of the game, Wyndham hit Poppy White over the middle for a 67-yard gain, and then just three plays later, the Bobcats scored the first touchdown of the game. Western responded quickly, though, with a one-play, 70-yard touchdown drive of their own from Zach Terrell to Corey Davis. Davis finished the night with 144 receiving yards. Western scored another TD before halftime and went to the locker room with a 23-7 lead. Ohio came out fighting in the second half, with an interception on Western's first drive to give Ohio the momentum. Wyndham found Jordan Reed for a touchdown, but a missed extra point made it 23-13. Ohio held Western to a field goal, and Wyndham and Poppy White went back to work. The Bobcats capped off an 81-yard drive with a 31-yard touchdown from Wyndham to White. An Ohio field goal made it 26-23 Broncos, but that's as close as it got. Western added a field goal of their own, and then Wyndham made one of his only mistakes of the night on the pass over the middle. Well, obviously it was great to get here, you know, and as the guys have mentioned, that, that was a goal of theirs from the beginning. And, um, you know, and they felt they had the talent to, uh, to be in this game, and, um, and so did I. And, and so they were pretty driven to, uh, to get some things done. You know, we had a lot of things that happened throughout the course of the year that... Uh, uh, was somewhat problematic for us, but um, but they kept pressing forward and kept working their way through th through things and got themselves here and and then uh, played well. But uh, obviously we didn't play quite well enough. Up next for the Bobcats, we're going to find out where they're going bowling. Final record of eight and five, so it's going to be somewhere hopefully down south for the final time this season and for the final time in my four-year career. Thanks for watching from Ford Field for WAB Sports. I'm Sean Neidig.